30 days has September, April, June, and November. All the rest has 31 except for February, which has 28. Have you ever wondered why we only have 28 days for February? Because I did. This is one of the questions that I've been asking my mother since life forever and she can't answer it for me. No one literally can answer it for me when I was young. So even after reading tons of books, I couldn't answer. I couldn't find the answer for this question. But thankfully, today, because of the gift bestowed by Bill Gates to us, we can just actually search it on the internet and voila, there you have the answer. So today, I'm gonna share with you with what I know about February and why do we only have 28 days. So if you're curious like me when I was younger, stay tuned. So, Apparently, before the present-day Gregorian calendar, the Romans would use the calendar Romulus. During those times, around the 8th century BCE, Romans had only 10 recognized months in a year, and January and February did not even exist. Shocking, right? Like, there are only 10 months. The year would start with March and end with December. So the calendar, the calendar Romulus would be like this. March was Martius with 31 days. Then following Aprilius with 30 days. Followed by Maeus with 31 days. Then Junius with 30 days. Then Sextilius. Uh, right? Sextilius with uh, Quintilius because it's the fifth month. Quintilius with 31 days. Sextilius, Sextilius, or present day August with 31 days. September with 30 days. October with 31 days. Then November with 30 days and December with 30 days. So if you would add the days, it would just total with 304 days. So during those times, winter was a nameless, monthless period that no one would care for so much. So if you would time travel during that time, Romans could ask, what month is it? And it would be proper to answer none because literally there was no system of tracking for time or for day during the winter se season. However, when the second king of Rome around 750 BCE took the throne, his name was King Numa Pompeius, he decided to revise the calendar and tried to sync it with the 12 lunar cycles. So he decided to add two more months to the 10 months because it's already 10 and there's 12 lunar cycles. So therefore, adding January and February, having January as the last month. So, however, there was this um, superstitious theory that if the year would only have a uh, would be a an even number so if the number of the days in a year is even the entire year would be unlucky so he decided to to subtract 10 one day from the 30 days of each month so if that month has 30 days he would subtract it with one. Now, if you're going to look back, it would only total to around 327. So in the end, King Numa Pompilius decided to just add February with having only 28 days. 
And besides, he decided that that month would be the month that would honor the dead. So if you basically don't like the month because it's about it's winter and nothing's really happening during winter and it's the month that would honor the dead, you would just want to cut it short. So everybody agreed. Everybody was happy. But there was a flaw. It started to go out of sync with the usual with the usual seasons. So on other times the the empire or the emperor would insert a new month like called Mercy Mercedonius out of nowhere and sometimes the people would not know when would they add that month. So literally it got everybody confused. In the end, they established, Julius Caesar established that there will be just 12 months in a year starting with January because January supposedly would be Jan Janus, you know, the figure with two heads, the one looking to the future and the one looking back. That's why January would be something that is the time for us to look forward to the future and look back to the past year that has been. So the lessons that we've learned in the past year and what we want to achieve, the goals that we have for the future. So that's January, followed by February, Jet, March, April, blah, 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 blah. You know that February 30 was a real date in the past and it happened at least twice in recorded history. Yes, it happened twice. First is when Sweden added it in its 1712 calendar in order to correct an earlier calendar month error. And the Soviet Union added February 30 in its 1930 and 1931 year's calendar in order to cut the seven days work weeks into five days work weeks and in order to establish a 30-day working month so how cool is that that february 30 did exist in the past so what you guys think have you learned anything on this video and if you do and if you like this video click thumbs up subscribe and share and if you want to receive notifications if i upload a new video click the bell button right beside the subscribe so there you have it folks have a great day and thank you so much for watching namaste juniors with 30 31 uh, 31 30 31 30 31 30 31 30 This is Junius with 30 days